Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. My name is Tom and in today's video I'm going to be talking about VeChain. Now we've been receiving a lot of comments about VeChain. We like to make videos on VeChain itself because it's a great project if we look at the fundamentals. And some of you may think that's too many videos, some of you may think that it's not enough videos about VeChain. And as the creator it's sometimes hard to decipher who's right and who's wrong. But again we just have to look at the fundamentals. If we look at the team, the white paper, the technicals and also just the fundamentals in general, it's a great project in our eyes. So in today's video we're coming all the latest news about VeChain, some big news, some great news about it. And also I'll be covering the recent price about VeChain. So a lot of you have been also saying recently, what's been happening to the price of VeChain? Why is my investment going down? Well, the thing is, is that things can go down as well as up. It just happens to be the case in the crypto market. So I'll be breaking that down as well. And I'll be explaining why that is the case in my opinion. So none of this is financial advice and not a financial advisor, but I could give my thoughts and opinions into VeChain and also be giving some price predictions with my analysis. So where it could go by the end of this year and also by the end of the next bull run. So stay tuned, watch to the very end and like, subscribe and comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys have to say about VeChain and I'll be responding to some of your comments below as well. Now, before I actually jump into the video itself, we're doing a $50 Bitcoin giveaway. This is to celebrate us reaching 46,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. So to enter this giveaway, you must be following us on Twitter at CryptoBusy. You must like and retweet this tweet that I'm showing you right now. And also, most importantly, you must be subscribed to the CryptoBusy channel. So also make sure that you do that as well. And that's how you be eligible to be able to win the $50 Bitcoin giveaway. Also, don't forget to join our Telegram group chat with over 4,500 members members actively and passionately discussing cryptocurrency so we'd love to see you on and over there as well and also most importantly if you're new here subscribe we've got bring great content for you guys and we've got a lot more planned in the upcoming weeks and also months so stay tuned so going into the market itself and i'll be explaining why v chain and also some of the alts are going down at the moment it's because of that bitcoin dominance you can see here the bitcoin dominance on coin market cap is 63 0.6%, so nearly 64% on the Bitcoin dominance. So what that means is out of the overall total market cap of all the cryptocurrencies that are out there on the market, 64% of that capital is in Bitcoin. And whenever that happens, when the Bitcoin dominance goes up, the rest of the altcoins price goes down. And that's what I think we're seeing in the VeChain price at the moment with the rest of the altcoins as well. So we've seen that Ethereum is down a little bit as well as XRP. We're seeing XRP go below 24 cents of a dollar. Ethereum, I think importantly, is around that sort of 380, 390 dollar region. And I do think that Ethereum can reach $800 by the end of this year. You know, we just have to see what happens with Bitcoin and where that's going. I think very importantly, back on Saturday, I think it's very important that we discussed this as well, is that Bitcoin did close above that monthly and daily candle around the $13,800 region. And that's very important for Bitcoin itself. So it's very good stuff for that. And I think, you know, it's advantageous for everybody if the Bitcoin price is doing well, because of that capital will flow from Bitcoin into the rest of the alts as well. So that's a major thing that I want to bring home in today's video as well. So the price of VeChain at the moment, it's literally just one cent of a dollar. So, you know, you may have been seeing price predictions in the past at Crypto Busy. You know, it could go to one dollar, it could go to five dollars. And I'll explain why that is the case and why we do think that is the case later on in today's video. But it is an important thing that you have to note as well. You know, they're doing a lot of things at VeChain. So one of the main things they're trying to solve is the supply chain logistics problem that we have at the moment in the world. Uh, uh, certainly right now, certainly right now in today's world, uh, I think you can agree on this one, is that it's just absolutely insane from what the situation we found ourselves in at the moment. The UK have found themselves going into another one of these versions that we're doing at the moment is crazy, but uh, you know it, it, it is what it is. And we just have to sort of live with it for the time being. Um, so VeChain itself is solving one of those major issues, which is in the supply chain. Now going into the charts itself, and this is a chart setup that I did about a few weeks ago, I think probably actually a few days ago, um, just looking into what I think VeChain could do. So my previous VeChain video, I discussed and I did this analysis that you can see right now, these three green lines and also this uh, this turquoise squiggly line. And I'll be talking about that in more detail in just a second. We can also see here that you have these training lines as well. These are the exponential moving averages. So the orange is the 20 day moving average. The blue is the 100 day moving average. And the red is the 200 day moving average. And the most important thing that you're seeing right now is that the 20 day moving average is below the 200 day moving average. And on paper, that is a bearish signal. But on the flip side to that, with that sort of bearish sentiment from the exponential moving averages, if we look at the actual support and resistant lines, you can see here at the moment that VeChain has bounced off this major, major support area for VeChain. And this is very important. This is what I essentially predicted a few days ago, a few weeks ago about VeChain is that it'd be just trading around this sort of area and then hit this sort of major, major support area and then bounce back up 
to the major resistance area that you're seeing right now, which is around the sort of 2.2 cent of a dollar region. So that's what we're seeing. So it happened a few days, a few weeks before I actually initially predicted it. But the main thing is, is that it did happen. And that's the key thing I want to bring home in today's video as well, is that it did bounce off this major support area. So what I will do is after this video, I'll go back to the charts. I'll just reanalyze and rethink where, where I think things can go for VeChain and also reanalyze and reset the targets for VeChain itself. Now, I do think long term, I do think the VeChain price target for the time being is going to be that 2.2 cent of a dollar region, just that you're seeing up there at the moment. I just went a little bit crazy there, but that 2.2 cent of a dollar region, that is a major key resistance level for VeChain right now. So that's a major thing, again, which I want to bring home in for you guys in today's video, is that the major two areas of support and resistance are the just below the one cent of a dollar region and just around the 2.2 two cent of a dollar region now the thing is fundamentally it may kick in with the rest of the altcoins and also bitcoin just going exponentially and going parabolic and that will affect v chain itself so eventually from my opinion from what i've seen in the past and the way that the patterns have been in the past again crypto can be quite cyclical um, so we've seen we could see that bitcoin dominance and that capital flow from bitcoin into the rest of the altcoins and we might be seeing that capital flow into v chain itself which would be very good for the price of v chain and that's where I think coupled with what they're doing in the world right now and the partnerships and the technology and the team, I think that is fundamentally a good thing for VeChain. And that I think, in my opinion, can catapult it into that $1 target. This is not a tomorrow prediction or next week or next month prediction, this $1 figure. This is a figure that could be in the next bull run. Now, certainly in the next five years or so. Now, there's a caveat to that. They've got to deliver on their promises. And if they don't deliver on their promises, well... That sort of prediction for VeChain going to $1, potentially going to $5 gets thrown out. And we have to forget about that. We have to realign and maybe also look into another cryptocurrency that's again trying to solve those issues. But from what I've seen right now for VeChain, it's very promising what they're doing. So VeChain, Renji Hospital and DNV GL held strategic partnership signing ceremony to launch the world's first blockchain intelligent tumor treatment center. It's quite a mouthful, but it's quite interesting to see that there. And they're going into the medical industry as well. And again, the market cap of the medical industry is quite large. So that can flow a bit into VeChain itself. And again, they're solving a real world issue. Which you can, and again, for people having a tumor, that's quite you know, life-threatening and very important to solve. And if we can harness the blockchain technology that VeChain has and VeChain's inherent technology as well, you know, we'll be able to solve a lot of things and potentially even save lives as well at the same time, which is great to see. So it's big stuff for VeChain there as well. So again, further to that, the big news again with VeChain supporting that fight against tumor diseases, it's very important we're seeing that happen as well. So they're solving lots of world issues that are out there at the moment. And again, eventually this will soon add up and flow into the market cap of VeChain. I want to leave this article linked in the description below. VeChain is in the fast lane to developments in the last quarter. These are very important things for VeChain. So I want to know what you guys have to say about that, about VeChain, about my analysis into VeChain itself today. Uh, it's very important, I think, from what we're seeing right now, and also the fact that it did bounce off that sort of major support area. I think that's very important. I want to bring that across in today's video. And also on top of that, Josh and I at Crypto Busy like to use a great resource called Tokenmetrics. And we've found this is very useful. We use a top tier subscription at Tokenmetrics and we feel that our return on investment has been immense. If we look at what Tokenmetrics has to offer for you, you can go through any cryptocurrency that's out there on the market. You can go through its summary, its price predictions, the fundamentals, the technology, the technical analysis, the performance metrics, and the correlation. So right now I'm showing you VeChain at the moment and you can go into the price predictions for VeChain, which is always a little bit fun. So bear in mind, this is just predictions and also AI. So don't take it as gospel, but it's very interesting to see what they could do. And um, it's saying here that VeChain is going to be going up over the next few weeks or so. So it's a very important tool, a very interesting tool, very powerful tool as well. And so that's Token Metrics. Our link for Token Metrics is in the description below. If you want to get 10 or 20% off selected plans on Token Metrics, and also at the same time, you help support out the channel, which is greatly appreciated. So don't forget, we're doing that $50 Bitcoin giveaway. This is to celebrate us reaching 46,000 subscribers. And we want to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of this month. By the end of November, we want to be at 50,000 strong, accurate to busy, because again, at the end of the day, when it comes to cryptocurrency and the crypto market and the crypto world, community is where it starts. And I think if we create that community and create to busy, I think that's one thing that we can really bring value and that's bringing value to you guys. So by subscribing, by liking, by commenting down below, that solidifies within us that we think at least we're providing value to you guys. So that's one thing I want to bring across there as well. Again, don't forget to subscribe and also leave down a comment down below that we want to see more of in the future. Do you want to see more VeChain videos or fewer VeChain videos? I'd love to know what you guys have to say about that. So that's it for me in today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.
the price of the coins and tokens does not, does not reflect the value not, no. of the project as much as it does the stocks, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, mean, I guess you have some examples like with Tesla going up so much as a stock, <laughs> people, I mean, even Elon Musk himself said, I think it's too high and <laughs> the price go down again. But, um, but yeah, That's in general, so sto stocks do reflect how the business does because you have earnings reports, yeah. you have all these kind of fundamental aspects that come out, investors see that and they're like, okay, I'm going to put some money into this. Also. This is but with cryptocurrency, it, it doesn't seem to be like that at all. It seems like people will come out with news article after news article saying, look at all this cool stuff we're doing and it's really good stuff. No one cares. <laughs> why not? That's make, why I make a good point there. I mean, you know, as, as you said, you know, you know, cryptocurrency companies will release you know, their quarterly returns. And that does nothing much to the price compared to if it were you know, Tesla stock or Apple stock and how that, that, how that so that is, can be a misconception of saying this, this is a large number, therefore this is good. Yeah. You know, so it, it, is, it is trying to separate the two together.